What is going on, champions of the arena? I am the host with the most sleepy here. Welcome back to another Apex Legends video. Of course, where today we're going to be talking about Baratheon and the vehicles that will be on there. We're also going to be talking about Vault's finisher that got leaked, like one of them that got leaked by Shroud Toll. And we're also going to be talking about the comment strip, the canon comment strip that Apex Legends just put out on their Twitter a couple hours ago. So we'll be discussing that because actually it's, it's actually pretty good and I liked it. I enjoyed it and we'll be discussing it. I'll be putting pictures on screen, but let's get into it. So the first thing I wanted to talk about was this picture. <laughs> So Shruttle tweeted out this picture, and basically, like, you could see, you could tell, okay, first off, you could tell these guys are sitting, like, in a car, right? Like, it, sound, it seems like they're sitting in some type of vehicle. What vehicle? Um, we have charms of these vehicles. I mean, I'm guessing that's what they're gonna be like, and I really hope we're not, like, just driving around the map, like, the map is, like, World's Edge size, and we're just driving around them. I really hope it's not like that. Maybe it's, like, a new loading screen. You know, like, instead of just the loading screen, like, a plain picture, it's kind of just, like, a short, like, film of us going to Olympus. Or maybe there is, like, a train, you know, and we could just sit on it and, you know, take the subway all the way to <laughs> across the map. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. What? Why are we going to be driving Apex Legends? What the? I don't, I don't know. It's going to be super cool. I'm excited for it. I definitely feel like this Olympus, aka Baratheon map, is going to be, like, completely different than what we've had in the past, in the last two maps. I feel like just the environment, I feel like the way, the play style on this map is going to be different. Um, a lot of players are going to be, like, not used to it. You know, I have a feeling it's going to be, like, a refresher. You know, a lot of people are going to hate it at first, maybe. Or a lot of people are going to love it. You know, like, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Because if you guys don't remember, everyone hated World's Edge. And now World's Edge is just, like, pros love it. Normal, you know, your typical Apex player loves it. Everyone loves World's Edge more than Teens Canyon, I feel like, nowadays. I mean, you know, Teens Canyon is still there, but I would... 100% take World's Edge anytime. But uh, anyway, yeah, that was <laughs> that picture was just hilarious. I had to show you about this. Now we actually have Vault finishers in game now. Now, what? Now we're getting Vault finishers, Slavey? Like what? More evidence that Vault might be coming to season seven. It seems like she's getting like her her jetpack and shooting flames at like a legend, and they're just flying. They're like. <laughs> I don't know, I thought this was hilarious, uh, I def definitely thought you guys could like, you know, get a laugh out of it, and if you're liking this video already, hit that subscribe button, and slap that like button down below, and make sure you turn on notifications, because I've been like putting out content after content, I've been putting anything Apex Legends related, we've been hustling, we've been making videos on it, so I definitely don't want you guys to miss out on those videos and information, so make sure you turn off that notification bell, subscribe, and smack down that like button. Now let's... So now let's talk about the comet strip because this week's comet strip is actually really good. We start off with Mirage kind of banging on a door, and you're probably thinking like, who's who's he going to go talk to, right? Like, so this comet strip is kind of out of order, so we'll we'll talk about the order right now. But in the very beginning, he's actually on his way to see uh, Rampart, but we don't get to that until like the very end, and then it cuts to him like being on the phone and he's like talking to his mom, basically saying. Uh, confirming that she used to work in th with the IMC. So did his dad. And then he finds paperwork on Rafe. Basically, Renee, Dr. Renee, who used to work at um, the IMC. And there's, like, this nice little picture of, you know, Rafe. And it's just it's nice to see, like, Rafe, more Rafe lore. Because we're all, you know, Rafe fans, I'm sure. You guys probably like Rafe. Uh, Rafe is just a fan favorite character, right? And uh, I still feel bad for Pathfinder. He's still sad. Uh, that poor guy, he's missing Ash, he's missing his lady, uh, he's waiting at the dumpster where he found her, waiting for her to return, so she's still gone, she is still gone, she probably won't return until season 9 Pathfinder, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, but yeah, so um, Mirage gets Ash this little gift, or, I'm sorry, gets Rafe this little gift, and basically it's just her file and saying like hey she has a birthday you know we don't know the date of her birthday but it's super cool it's kind of heartwarming to see you know Rafe actually smile like it's just like wow like, you know like he made a little card he says you were right except I do know when you were born happy birthday and now so do you you know so that's super cool um and then you know Pathfinder does the same thing he's like simulacrum suck let's go shoot things your BFF that's I don't know I thought that was funny they got um 
Ray Flowers, you know, that's super cool. I think Pathfinder is actually getting these flowers for Ash, though, now thinking about it. And then the last cutscene, we see Mirage ending up at Rampart's door with not a f boat, like, not a bunch of flowers, but a bunch of wrenches. You know, he's got some wrenches, and it made, it's a good laugh because, you know, that's Rampart. She's not really, like, she says she doesn't like flowers. She says she's, like... She finds them disgusting. They have a bunch of buds all over them, stuff like that. So what does he get? He gets her a bunch of wrenches she could probably use for tools to work on equipment or, you know, anything broken, any of her gear, you know? So she gets a laugh out of it. And it's a nice, nice little heartwarming um, comment this week. So I'm pretty slap that like button if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. Oh, it was the last one. I didn't know it was the last one.